It didn't say that. Didn't say masked man? You were a nice surprise though. There he is, Patrick Psycho Rider. De-escalate that situation. What do you know about de-escalation? Psycho Rider, do you have any uh, comment to the numerous allegations about police brutality, official misconduct? You're a coward. That mask didn't come off, right? Why? Yeah, I'm currently wearing a full face mask in direct defiance of the law that was passed by this very legislative body. They're ready to arrest me. Police Commissioner Ryder, in conjunction with his friend, District Attorney Ann Donnelly, have unlawfully arrested me and taken my freedom away three times. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. We are currently standing in front of the Nassau County Legislative Building here in Mineola, New York. We're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment rights. But we are also here to break the law. Now that might be very shocking to some of you because this channel, we do not break the law. We exercise our rights peacefully. But Nassau County passed a mass transparency bill, which makes it illegal for anyone to wear a mask to protect their privacy during peaceful protests. So we are here today to speak directly to the legislators here of Nassau County while breaking that law so we could tell them to repeal the law as it is unconstitutional. Now we are here to resist tyranny, just like my hoodie says. If you'd like to pick up a resist tyranny hoodie, you could do so using the link in the description and pinned comment, appreciate your support. So before we go inside, we gotta put on our mask. All right, now that we have our mask on, we are currently in violation of Nassau County law, which could land us up to a year in the county jail and or a thousand dollar fine and a misdemeanor on our record. I know it's ridiculous, we have a right to protect our privacy in public. As you all know, we talk about this on my channel a lot. There is no expectation of privacy in public, so therefore you can create it yourself, and that's what we're doing right here. This law was passed with a specific purpose in identifying individuals who exercise their rights and speak out against the corrupt and tyrannical government here in Nassau County. It's absolutely disgusting and unconstitutional. As I was walking through Nassau County with this mask on, a woman came up to me and said, you look scary. I responded, in the words of the civil rights attorney here on YouTube, freedom is scary. Let's get into it. Hey, sir, how are you? Hi, sir, how are you? Doing well. You have the meeting? Yes, sir. You Thank you, appreciate it. ID, please. ID? Yeah. For a legislative you, meeting? Are you a county employee? No. Okay, I'm just gonna check your stuff. I thought I went into like 1940s Germany or something. Yeah, just this? Yeah, just this. All right, one second. Let's see if we could speak to somebody, find out when public comment is. Excuse me, ma'am. I just have a quick question. Uh, when is when will we know when public uh, comment is? Public comment is after twelve o'clock, I believe, if, if I remember correctly. Is there um, like a agenda? I mean, there's, there's outside. We need to there's an agenda over there. There's agendas. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for having us as usual. Um, just bear with me. This uh, this incident is kind of long and lots of there he is. A lot of moving parts. Patrick, uh, psycho writer. I'll try to get through it as quickly as possible. After all these years, we finally so run into him here at a meeting. This man has retaliated against me over and over again, taken my freedom from me, intimidated my family. Uh, it's ridiculous. Good afternoon and give, thank you again for giving us the uh, time to speak here about the great work of our cops. De-escalate that situation. What do you know about de-escalation? We de of de-escalation all the time to our police officers. <laughs> Over $2 million in damages has been awarded to a Baldwin Air Force veteran in a police brutality lawsuit against Nassau Police. A federal jury awarded $2.36 million to Robert Bessadin. As we've reported, the now 79-year-old says two officers grabbed him in 2017 and threw him down the stairs in front of his home. The incident was captured on home surveillance video. Bessadin was arrested for an alleged assault and harassment. Charges against the officers were dropped. And we have won that battle <laughs> over and over. Why don't you tell them you're arrested for police brutality? Patrick, why don't you tell them about your nickname, Psycho? Like I said, they're the quiet warriors. They go out and do it every day, and they don't get recognized too often. So thank you. Talk about your lawsuits. 17 lawsuits. <laughs> you don't want to talk about that, do you? There he is, Patrick, Psycho writer. Photo op. This pro-police propaganda nonsense. This is why bootlickers exist because of this kind of propaganda. They're trying to highlight these officers as they're all some sort of heroes. It's ridiculous. Are you filming the cops? I'm sorry? Are you filming the cops? Am I filming the cops? No, no, are you, are you with the group filming the cops? No, 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 no. Thank you for that. For what? Oh. Like, call it the oh, yeah, 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 no, no problem. That's what I'm here to do. 
Psycho writer, do you have any uh, comment to the numerous allegations about police brutality, official misconduct, inappropriate affairs, nothing? You're a coward, police commissioner. Absolute coward and a tyrant. Look at him run away after he gets his little award. Hey, who are you? Officer Thurston. Your badge number? Four zero zero. And what did you just tell me? That mask needs to come off, right? Why? Is it, for, is it for a medical reason? I don't have to divulge if it's a medical reason or not. Okay, religious? Do I have to answer any of your questions? I'm asking you. Do you I'm, I'm, gonna wear, I'm gonna wear the mask. Okay. I'm not breaking any law. You know. Okay. I'm not. Nope. Right, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. See how he turns off the body camera every time he, uh, look at them. They're ready. They're ready to arrest me, ladies and gentlemen, because I have a mask on. Good afternoon. As you can see, I am currently wearing a full face mask in direct defiance of the law that was passed by this very legislative body. The Mass Transparency Act is completely unconstitutional. I find it very ironic how just a few short years ago, the Nassau County government was forcing the people to wear masks, yet now it is illegal. Punishable by, punishable by up to a year in jail and or a $1,000 fine. Criminalizing the people's right to create privacy in public is absurd and downright tyrannical. We the people have the right to protect our identity from the government in order to prevent retaliation for exercising our constitutional rights, for example, while peacefully protesting. In fact, I was and continue to be retaliated against while investigating the Nassau County government, specifically the police commissioner, Patrick Psycho Ryder. Psycho is the nickname that was given to him by his colleagues at the Nassau County Police Department, not myself. I wanted to clarify that. He was the gentleman that was standing right where I'm standing earlier promoting his pro-police propaganda. Patrick Ryder has been arrested and he tries to hide this fact for official misconduct, police brutality and perjury. How did he get the job after being arrested for such heinous crimes? Um, maybe because he was given the job as acting police commissioner by Ed Mangano, the county executive who is now in a federal prison. There are allegations of Patrick Ryder illegally seizing people's property by using asset forfeiture. I have yet to receive the asset forfeiture fund documents, which I FOIL requested, which are required to be released by law. I wonder why. Police Commissioner Ryder, in conjunction with his friend, District Attorney Ann Donnelly, have unlawfully arrested me and taken my freedom away three times. Two of the charges were dismissed by a judge for being facially insufficient. I am sure the third one will be soon. What's worse is that Patrick Ryder wrote a bogus arrest warrant for trespassing and sent two plainclothes officers across county lines into Suffolk County to arrest me in order to intimidate me and my family. Ironically, when the officers came to my house, they were wearing masks just like the one I'm wearing, which is now here illegal here in Nassau County. I am asking this legislative body to do the right thing, repeal the unconstitutional law, and I'm asking this body to investigate the blatant First Amendment retaliation that is being perpetrated against me by the Nassau County Police Department and the Nassau County District Attorney's Office. Everything that you heard earlier, that's all, and the little photos you guys took, that's all pro-police propaganda. Why don't you talk about the lawsuits that have cost taxpayers millions of dollars? There are 17 lawsuits currently against Patrick Ryder himself. Police brutality, official misconduct, illegally seizing people's assets. Your government will not release the asset forfeiture fund to the people. And that's what's going on here. That's costing each and every one of you money in your taxes. So do the right thing, repeal the law, rein in your psycho police commissioner, and stop this retaliation. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm currently breaking the Mask Transparency Act, just so you know. Okay. Great, that's good. Uphold your oath to the Constitution. Right. I'm currently violating Nassau County law right now by wearing a mask. Okay. Is that what today's meeting is about? No, that's what I made it about, but not in general, but I just wanted to- uh, Good, how are you? How are you? So, are you, are you going to arrest me for exercising a right and... I am trying to find out why we've been called here, so... Oh, you've been called here? Calls, go from there. About a masked man? So, you are here for me. It didn't say that. Didn't say masked man? You were a nice surprise, though, but it did not say that. Yeah, okay. So, am I detained? No, you're Okay, great. You too. You just mind if I get your names and badge numbers before I leave? Wheaton?
have a great day. Do you mind if I get your name and badge yeah, number? Yeah, my name is Officer Mosia, 3961. Thank you, officer. You have a great day, okay? Take care. So law enforcement was called to the meeting, even though there was plenty of law enforcement officers in the meeting, dozens of law enforcement officers, yet they decided to uh, call two more. You know, I, it has to be for me, for the man with the camera. She wouldn't say what, but that's why I got their names and badge numbers. We're gonna definitely be FOIL requesting that information, the 911 call, and I'm gonna be getting all that and I'll be up updating the channel. All right, fellow patriots, we are just getting out of the Nassau County Legislative Meeting here in Mineola, New York. Wow, I did not expect to run into Police Commissioner Patrick Psycho Ryder. I've been trying to find him and ask him some questions for quite a while now, and he was just a few feet from me spewing his pro-police propaganda. But he doesn't want to talk about police brutality, official misconduct, and perjury, things that he was charged for. And he doesn't want to talk about the rampant tyranny and corruption that is being perpetrated by him and his officers here in Nassau County. Go figure. So we brought it up to the legislators. We brought up the Mass Transparency Act, how it's unconstitutional while wearing this mask. It was epic. You know, I cannot believe that none of the law enforcement officers, there was dozens of law enforcement officers inside of this meeting and not one of them arrested me for violating the Mass Transparency Act because they are scared. That's why they didn't do it. They know that I will challenge it in court and we the people will win. That's what's gonna happen here. At the end of the day, we spoke to the legislature here. We voiced our opinions. We have petitioned our grievances to our government as is our first amendment right. Every single person should have the right to protect their privacy from government retaliation while exercising a first amendment right. But Nassau County wants to retaliate. That's what they do. District Attorney Ann Donnelly, Patrick Ryder, the police commissioner, that's what they do. It felt really good, ladies and gentlemen, to call Patrick Ryder psycho to his face. Again, I didn't come up with that nickname. His own colleagues in the police department came up with the nickname Psycho. That should tell you everything you need to know right there. You know, it really is unfortunate that the legislators don't engage with members of the public. You just petition your grievances. And I went and spoke in front of the very body who made the law criminalizing a mask. And I wore it right in front of them in straight defiance of their unconstitutional law and they did nothing about it. It just shows the hypocrisy here in Nassau County. It was really good seeing Patrick Ryder. You know, I hope to see him again. I hope he answers my questions next time. And I will continue to expose his tyranny and corruption to the world. I will never stop. I am currently facing a criminal prosecution for contempt of court and criminal trespassing by the Nassau County government. I have court November 26th here in Nassau County. And we will win just like we won the previous two cases. They will lose because we are on the side of transparency. We are on the side of the Constitution. So I truly appreciate all your support. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I cannot wait to read your comments on this one. And always remember, freedom is scary. Stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.